Country of Italia uh, uh, has, has a very, very strong relationship with the customers. So all during all, all our activity, we, stay, we try to stay closer to our customer in order to anticipate trends, needs, demand, and in some cases try to anticipate problems and matters. So actually some of the big challenges like uh, uh, giant vessel, new tonnage, we would like to consider as a new normal. We start to deal with those kind of issues in 2011 with our ports in La Spezia, in Gioia Tauro, and so we try to cope, try to invest in, in the proper time to offer customers a proper solution, reliable solution. So we are actually are moving forward. We do think that uh, uh, we can represent a good opportunity for our shipping lines for product differentiation. And that's why all of the issues related with rail transport, uh, customs activities, uh, we'll consider ourselves to be a good partner for them in order to exploit and to overcome this kind of, uh, of, of situations. This is for us a big advantage in terms of promotion because our company since the early days back to 69 was uh, focused on rail transport which we know very well as a very efficient transport system. So we actually provide our customers and the end users, so the customers of our customers with proper uh, reporting in terms of how many CO2 they can reduce, they can save using our rail systems. Especially in the corridor La Spezza Milano, which is one of the, of the largest and the most important economic corridors in Italy, we do offer over 200 trains per week and uh, uh, this includes uh, big uh, returns for the shippers that can use instead of the truck the rail even for a short distance and those, this is, in, is completely in tune with our uh, let's say mission and so for us talking about the CO2 reduction and sustainability is just a way to promote better our services. So extending the arches to Central Europe via Italian ports. This is a concept that for many years has been printed into PowerPoints, uh, let's say theorically, saying that yes, the geographical location of the Italian ports can overcome and can offer shippers a reduction in transit time, because obviously for the traffic, for the flows coming from east of Suez, thus reducing inventory costs. But up to, let's say, 2013, this was only a theoretical approach. What our group has been uh, able to do is uh, to build this kind of product based on two main aspects. The first is, uh, let's say, the perception of the, the, the service level in Italian ports and in the rail transport and in the customs operation. There was a lot of people thinking about Italy that uh, as a bureaucratic, not really efficient, but Italy's changed and operators like Conship Italia 2 can provide those kind of new reliable services. The second aspect is because of the, uh, let's say, the, the market that is moving towards the MED. Uh, the shipping lines decided to increase the tonnage from Asia to MED because of uh, economy of scale research and also for the cascading effect that moving the larger vessel towards Asia North Europe trades then the vessel in the range of 10,000 14,000 has been redeployed on the Asia Med this as an effect is reducing the gap between the sea freight from Asia Med and Asia North Europe so making the, the solution via south even competitive in terms of, of, of cost and not only in transit time so actually the geographical position of our ports, of our set, is really ready to offer an alternative. We know very well that the major, the major of the traffic moving from Rotterdam down to Europe will remain as a leader because they have a market which is twice the size of the market we can serve from south. But we do think that for specific type of cargoes, for specific type of shippers that want to have a different product, alternative routings, saving CO2, saving time, then they can access to a real product and not only to a PowerPoint presentation. Obviously, one of the ways to, to keep the, the competitiveness of our ports is exactly based on this integration port-to-door. So in our next future, there is a huge commitment on 
first investment in order to improve the capacity in the facilities which are the, the strategic key elements because the train sometimes is considered as not flexible, not really reliable, but the problem is not of the train. The problem is on the nodes that need to serve the trains. That's why we are strongly invested on the maritime side and on the inland rail labs, improving the space, improving process, improving equipment. And uh, in the next future, we do want to, uh, in, let's say, improve the network scope, adding new uh, connections from Italy to south of Europe. Now we are uh, actually quite strong to Switzerland, but we need to add a new connection to South Germany. All the area where there are important markets that can benefit from shorter transit time using Italian ports. This will be our best goal for the next future.